Infrahyoid muscles, they're also called the strap muscles. We talked in previous videos that there are four muscles, and this include the sternohyoid, the sternothyroid, and omohyoid, and thyrohyoid. In this video, I'm going to talk about the omohyoid muscle. It's quite an unusual strap muscle because it's formed of two bellies, the superior belly and the inferior belly of the omohyoid muscle. The inferior belly originates from the shoulder region, more specifically, it originates from the scapula near the suprascapular notch. And then the muscle fibers come together in an intermediate tendon, as you can see it here. And then it inserts into the inferior border of the hyoid bone. That's called, that's why it's called the omohyoid muscle. The action of this muscle is to depress the hyoid bone and also depress the larynx after both has already been elevated. The nerve supply, like our previous two muscles, the sternohyoid and the sternothyroid, it's supplied by the ansa cervicalis, C1, C2, and C3 spinal nerves. To summarize, the infrahyoid muscles are four muscles, omohyoid, sternohyoid, sternothyroid, and thyrohyoid. The omohyoid is quite an unusual muscle. It originates from the shoulder region, the scapula, near the suprascapular notch, and the fibers come together to form an intermediate tendon and inserts into the lower border of the hyoid bone. It's innervated by C1, 2, and 3, and this is called ansa cervicalis, and the action is due to the higher bone and also the uh, muscles of the larynx after they have already been elevated. Thank you.